Hi everyone! In celebration of Nightmare Night, I will be showing you how to make this Nightmare Moon inspired lantern. The links to where I bought most of my supplies for this project are in the description box below. First thing I'm gonna do is paint the inside of the jar since the paint will need a few days for it to completely dry. I'm gonna mix folk art purple and blue metallic acrylic paints to get a deep violet color. You can choose any color you want your glass jar to be. Thin your paint by adding one part water to three parts paint. The paint needs to be a bit transparent so that the lights that you'll be placing inside your jar can still come through. Once your paint has been completely mixed, pour it into your jar. Hold your jar and roll it around until the paint has completely coated the inside. Use a bowl to collect the excess paint. Place your jar upside down on a cooling rack. Keep it like this until all the excess paint has dripped out and the paint on the inside wall has dried. This will take at least an hour. During this time, the drips will collect on the rim of your jar. So for about every 10 minutes, lift your jar from the rack and wipe the rim. Before the paint dries, pour the excess paint that's in the bowl back into your container. Save it just in case you need to apply more coats of paint to the jar later. So I did need to apply an extra coat of paint inside and I let it dry overnight. You can check to see if you want more coats of paint by testing it with your light. I really liked how this turned out. The texture created by the drips and the rolling of the paint was unexpected. Let's move on to the Nightmare Moon cutout. Use a ruler to measure how tall you want your pony to be on your jar. Mine will be about 5.5 inches. Make sure you draw or print out a picture of your pony to that height. This will be used as a template. You'll need a cutting mat or something to protect your table. Place a black poster board on top and the pony template on top of it. Tape the template to the poster so that it doesn't move around while you're cutting. Cut along the outlines of your pony using your craft knife. Where you cut will determine how your pony will turn out, so the parts that you cut out will show the color of the paint you've chosen for your jar. The curves are a lot harder to cut, so I like to cut the straight lines first. I won't be cutting the whole pony on camera, I'm just giving you an idea of how it's done. Alright, I've cut the rest off camera. This wasn't easy. I didn't know how hard it was to cut fine details and to post a board until now. The wing was the hardest part because of the fine details on it. Here you can see all the cuts I've made. Now I'm gonna punch out the parts that will be the violet paint color of my jar. This is the armored part of Nightmare Moon's leg. I've punched out the rest of the pieces. Now I can take off the largest and final piece. Glue the cutout to your jar. For the other side of your jar, you can make any cutout you want. I chose a moon because of Nightmare Moon's cutie mark. Cut the shape out to use as a template. Tape it down and trace it to a piece of black poster. Remove the template and cut the shape out. Now glue it onto your jar. I use black poster board for the cutouts because it's thick enough to block out the light. Regular paper won't be thick enough. The last thing to make is the lid. The lid will keep the light from escaping the top of the jar, and it will also keep the inside clean and dust free. You'll need a thick sheet of cardboard that's stronger than poster board so that it'll hold the weight of the puck light. Place your jar on top of your cardboard upside down. Trace the rim of your jar. Now draw another circle that's half an inch bigger by marking points that are half an inch from the first circle. This is a way to draw a perfect circle if you can't do it freehand. Connect those points by following the curve of the first circle. There you go, a perfect circle. If you have a lot of excess cardboard, cut them out first. Now cut along the outer circle.
For the inner circle, use your craft knife to lightly cut along it. You're not cutting the inner circle out, so don't cut it all the way through. A light cut will allow you to fold the flaps of the lid to keep the lid from falling off the jar. Cut out triangles all around, each about half an inch apart. You should have something like this once you're done. Flip your cardboard to the other side and draw a circle by connecting the tips of the triangles. Follow the curve of the outer circle. Again, use your craft knife to lightly cut along the circle. Fold all the flaps in one direction. Now you can paint it any color you want. Once the paint has dried, attach your puck light to the underside of the lid using velcro strips. Turn the lid over and attach it to the center. This puck light runs on three AAA batteries. To replace the batteries, hold down this back part and twist the front counterclockwise to open. I recommend using rechargeable batteries so that you'll be able to use them over and over again without wasting money on new batteries. When you put the top back on, do the same as earlier. Hold down the bottom piece but twist clockwise to close. These are the LED string lights that I'm gonna place inside my jar so that from the outside they look like stars shining in the night sky. There are a set of four string lights here, each six feet long that runs on coin sized batteries. I love these so much. The wires are really flexible so you can shape and bend them any way you want. Like all LED lights, these string lights and the puck light under the lid don't get hot no matter how long they've been on so they're safe to have around kids. I'm gonna place these inside my jar. This is what it looks like without the lid and the puck light. The puck light definitely lightens up the lantern a lot. The lantern on the right is when all my lights are turned off. I use this as a night light when I sleep and the light doesn't bother me at all. This was really fun to make. I especially enjoyed painting the inside of the jar. Making the cutout of your pony won't be easy if you choose to make one with a lot of fine details like I did, but it's definitely worth it, so just take your time. That's it for this video. You can watch more of my custom My Little Pony videos by clicking on the pictures that are on your screen or visiting my channel. Happy Nightmare Night and thanks for watching!